on your iPhone you can use Siri and Apple Intelligence. You can also enable the ChatGPT extension to get more functionality out of your iPhone. So I'll show you right now. Now I'll use the Siri without ChatGPT. Hey Siri. Okay, what's the weather today? Should be sunny today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 26 degrees with overnight lows around 16. Okay, so it's doing this while it's locked. The phone is locked. The iPhone is locked, but the upper intelligence and Siri, it's still working. So face ID, okay. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, okay. It's a bit slow sometimes. Can you set a timer for three seconds? <clears throat> and it's gone. Hey Siri. Can you set a timer for three seconds? Okay. Okay, so, hey Siri. What are the best functions to use with ChatGPT and Siri? Okay, ask Siri to compose a poem. Okay, can you compose a poem? Or I changed my mind. It it failed. It quit. Hey Siri. Can you give me a list of gift ideas? Yes, use chat GPT. I'll try not to press the button. Okay, so it's understanding. It's working with chat GPT. Make a generic gift that is easy for anyone. So it's communicating with ChatGPT, sending my requests. Gift cards, cozy blankets, aromatic candles. It is from ChatGPT, so I think that's not too bad. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Can you get a list from ChatGPT with the most interesting events that happened in the last 10 years for science? ChatGPT asks, could you clarify which time period or type of events you're interested in? For example, historical events, recent news, or specific topics. Science breakthroughs in the last 10 years. You can schedule messages to send later in the messages app. What? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's up to you if you want to use Siri or Apple Intelligence or ChatGPT. I prefer to use uh, Google Gemini app. It's really much more reliable than this. Let me know if you have a better experience with Siri and Apple Intelligence and ChatGPT integration on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.